This is Rogues on the Road with Matt Froman and Rich Marshall, where we talk food, travel, craft beverages, and everything in between. All right, welcome to Rogues on the Road, the podcast. We are travel, food, beverage, everything in between. I'm Matt. And I'm Rich. And this week is a bit of food, food, food. Uh, yeah, we've got some fun topics that I think uh, I think you're all going to enjoy. Um, I don't know if we're going to get through everything. If we don't, we'll, we'll save it and use it again. Um, but uh, should we get started? Traditionally... It's the alcohol. <laughs> so uh, that's over to you this week, mate. Okay. So uh, we had a request, and the request was, because we're doing a lot of craft beverages, can we do something different like a cocktail? So that's what we did. Yep. So um, we kind of work with what's in season, and right now um, blood oranges are in, the se- are in season. And you are loving them. I do. And um, so we decided to do a twist on a classic Manhattan and What's we, in Manhattan? So Manhattan is basically uh, sweet vermouth, R- bourbon, bitters, and a twist. That's right. it. It's usually a two-to-one ratio of bourbon to vermouth. And you want to use like a really good vermouth, um, not like a cheap vermouth, because okay. it'll come out. And then sometimes you can mess around with like citrus bitters or classic bitters. I kind of like classic bitters. Yeah. All right. Um, so we did a kind of a twist on the cocktail. So it's a classic Manhattan. We will post the cocktail recipe yep. um, after the show. But basically, it's that two-to-one ratio of bourbon. We use the best bourbon in in the entire world. Check that news. Is that a bourbon? I don't know. <laughs> I've never heard no. of it. Have you, ever, have you ever heard of it? No. I've never heard I'm of it. Out. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard of it. Nice guy, apparently. Uh, we're using Taconic uh, bourbon. Um, this is Hudson Valley, New York. Uh, this is a small batch bourbon done very traditionally. Um, this is aged uh, probably just over about two years. The cocktail's in here. Um, and then they do a finish. So this is a six month finish in Cabernet uh, oak barrels oh. from Jonathan Edwards Vineyard in Stonington, Connecticut. Very good. Um, and then we did a classic, built the classic uh, Manhattan, but we added an additional one part of blood orange juice, juice, freshly squeezed, and then to the bottle we added the zest of one blood orange. It just takes the edge off here. Yeah? That's it. And yeah. a little bit of um, taconic barrel-aged maple syrup, and it just kind of comes out really nice. So are we thirsty? Let's do it, man. All We're right. thirsty. So I'm going to give it a little, sh- give it a little shake. Or we get can the, do the... Get the juices flowing. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, I'm going to do a small amount. This isn't going to be like a... Not guzzler. Not a guzzler. There we go. Not a guzzler. We've got an hour to kill. Yeah. I'll give it. It's a, it's a, traditionally a scotch. A scotch. What's a scotch? Is that a, a unit of measurement? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> it's a scientific nomenclature. Is, is, is that like, a little, a dri- like a dribble. Right. A little bit more than a dab? <laughs> yeah. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. A scotch. I love a scotch because it's, yeah, it's halfway between a dribble and a dab. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's not much else out there that you can really describe as a scotch. <laughs> yeah, could, but I want to be appropriate for this show. Oh, okay. So, All right, I'm okay. coming around. All right, Here we cool. go. All, All right. right, so Blood Orange, Manhattan, Taconic Distillery, Bourbon. And where was this at the Super Bowl party? Uh, 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 next year. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Really? And we have our beside, behind the scenes guy back in the building. We do. We missed him last week. So the person behind the camera. One of the cameras. You get the, you get oh, I get more. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Trying to get the engineer drunk? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> we'll absolutely. be off the air in 15. Right. <laughs> All right. So um, this, is, uh, this is our first cocktail of mm. our Rogues in the Road. Yeah. Um, give it a try. Delightful. You got the orange like in there, mate. Isn't that nice? Yeah. The orange is strong enough. It, co- it yeah, covers it does, up yeah. the alcohol, but I can tell that this shit is strong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Manhattans typically are, are, are pretty damn strong. That's an easy ride right there. Right. So you got to take it easy. Put this, you know, in a, in a martini glass. I actually like them in rocks glasses with a big ice cube, um, and that way you can kind of sip over a long period of time. Because right, right. if you go through a glass of this, 
this is you know 90 proof. Uh, it's going to catch up with you quick, it, as it right. as it did the other night. <laughs> to, where, be, to be continued. <laughs> where, and where can one find this? So uh, Taconic is found uh, Millbrook, New York. Well, they're actually up in Stamfordville. Stamford, next door. Uh, they're distributed in um, a lot of the East Coast, all of New York State, uh, Metro New York. Um, you should be able to find it in any liquor store. If you can't, just ask. Uh, it's one of the biggest distributors in New York State, so it's easy, easy to bring in. Um, everyone from this area kind of knows the Taconic because everyone's like, oh, yeah, the highway I got pulled over on. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. Right. So right. Every, those those every, of you that true, right? right those that are listening, including I mean, you've gotten pulled over. I've gotten pulled yeah. over. Um, it just is what it is, yeah. and um, so that's how unfortunately a lot of people remember the Taconic. Um, but uh, it is easily found. It's a phenomenal product. We'll come back to Taconic at another point and right. do more of a kind of a yeah in depth how they work and absolutely how we found them. Yeah, it is the finest bourbon in New York State. It is actually it's outside delicious. of Kentucky. So, yeah. yeah. Um, cheers. So, cheers. Yeah, man. I know you've got a toaster and some bread over there, which Shh. we're going to bust out a bit later, but you might want to start the process. I don't know. Oh, we got time. Yeah. We got time. Oh, yeah, we're using that later. Holy yeah. shit. Where, the, where did that come from? There's <laughs> <laughs> an actual toaster in the studio. So, yeah. <laughs> She's hiding underneath your coat. So, so <laughs> Gypsy, you're going to be you're gonna be part of a okay. little bit of a... a Experiment. Uh, a surprise. A surprise. All right. A, a, a culinary surprise. All right. There you go. All I'm right. game. I'm uh, game. That's going to be part of it. That'll be a little bit later on. All right. Um, so don't be alarmed by it. I won't be. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it'll be, be fun. To be continued. So. What's been happening the last two weeks? You ready to chat what? a little bit about football? Football. Football. That was just two days ago? Three days ago? Yeah. We had a fun time. We uh, hosted a Super Bowl party, my wife and I. Yep. Had a bunch of friends over and associates. And yep. um, ate plenty of good grub. Had a few, a few beers. Yep. Um, You've been doing it now a few years. Yeah, three or four. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't around for a while because I was always in Israel during this time. Shabbat is a lot. Yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. Everyone made a bunch of good stuff. Good friend Rich, he uh, made a New England clam chowder. Which Ooh, was out right. of the frigging world. Ooh. And I don't like fish. Yeah, so we had some amazing food. Um, I love how the fact that, you know, February. So December is everyone get fat and die of heart disease food. Yeah. Right. And then January, no, 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 no. Everyone's got to be super healthy. And it's, you know, and then February just back to shit again. Yeah, totally, totally. Right? So um, so we, we had a, an, uh, that was an untraditional, um, like, food that we had. Yeah, everyone, we just did a... Um, what you call it? Round robin or uh, yeah, a potluck. A potluck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. yeah. We did a potluck. Yep. Um, and I definitely the winners was yours. My uh, wife's. Yeah, which which I haven't tasted in a while. Just the love it. Philly cheese steak balls. So okay. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> made with some reason it didn't sound good, but I'm sure they taste great. <laughs> made Moist. with made with steak. Right. Do you remember steak? Of course. Yeah. I remember steak. I've never heard of steak until this weekend. That's so American. It, it was. It's so fucking American. It was so good. It's such yeah. a quintessential taste. And it's yeah. so, it's like it's like McRibs in, in, right. in, in yeah. school. <laughs> in school. Yeah. Um, and you know it was yeah, you know it's bad for you, but you want a lot of it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But it was so it was so good. You guys she just did it with um she cooked up the steak and with onions, yep. um some uh, American cheese and yep. stuffed them in Philly. It was What's like, it called, that stuff? Uh, Pillsbury. Yeah, Doughboy, uh, boy, the crescent rolls. The crescent rolls. Ooh, Baked them. Well, yeah. Phenomenal. Yeah. Baked them and, uh, yeah, they were, they were moist. Phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. So that yeah. was that was a big winner. I'd say the biggest winner was what this guy, who you guys can't see, uh, decided to make an unconventional uh, clam chowder. There he is. Smile, chef. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was his first clam chowder. Um I've had a gazillion bowls of clam chowder in my lifetime. I have not. Um, that was good. It, do, you, do you have anything like that in the UK? Uh, potato and leek soup. Yeah, yeah. Add, yeah. A I guess bit. that's it. A little bit. With creams. Yeah. Um, this chowder that you made, and we'll post the recipe, was one of the finest clam chowders I've ever had. Um, and the nice thing was you, you committed, Rich, other rich committed to the recipe and it's traditionally a lot of heavy cream yeah. butter uh bacon 
um, it's a very rich um, and delicious thing that you yeah. typically have in you know in New England. Um, it was phenomenal. Very good. It was so good, so good. Um, so we will post that recipe. Um, definitely a recipe to follow. So, yeah, yeah. Super Bowl was a good game. I thought. Great game. I'm not a big football fan, but it kept me going. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Just, just tell me you hate Tom Brady. That's all I want. I've been told I have to hate Tom Brady. Yeah, you got so, to hate. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's all. That's all I care about. Uh, that's fine. I, I, I'm not. I'm no comment. You know? <laughs> <laughs> are you, did you have a horse in the race? Did I what? You have a horse in the race? Did you no. care who won? No. Oh God. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, okay. yeah I listen. I love. Sorry. And you can all judge me. Whatever. I yep. love. I love New England. Damn. Um, and uh, I, I love. Yeah. And you love Tom Brady. <laughs> uh, not the way that that a lot of fans do. Uh, yeah. I think he's a very talented player. Um, I, I thought the kissing thing with his son that was so weird. Was so strange. Did I miss that? And totally. You didn't miss anything. No. no? no. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, it was just weird and uncomfortable. And uh, yeah, it was yeah. So I thought that was a little weird. So it went down a couple notches. <laughs> yeah, he, he's an oddball. But uh, you know, I was so happy that Philly won. Yeah. Uh, it was it was just yeah, it, was, cool. it was really nice to watch a team, you know, just achieve that. Yeah, yeah. And really up against a team that was so yeah heavily stacked against them. Yeah. 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 And just a, I mean, they were playing the whole game was playing out like every other New England game where, you know, they're not strong in the first half and then suddenly New England just like they, put, puts on the steam yeah. and goes. You know? a, and that's how it was going to seem like. It was an next game. Yeah. 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 And commercials. Did you have a favorite? I did enjoy the, um, what was it for? It was for M&M's with um, Danny DeVito. That was, <laughs> he got hit by the truck. That was freaking awesome. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. That was one of my favorite commercials. Yeah. Yeah. And then the uh, Dirty Dancing at the end. That was classic. Yeah. That was I, I think that was lined up for next year's game. They're, yeah. they're going to go big with it. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. the simple comedic ones, not the overly, the, the big theatrical commercials, with you know the gigantic you know spectacle kind of stuff right. is not as enjoyable as some of the yeah I think creativity over yeah hundred percent over celebrity yeah. Yeah. even the 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 um the Alexa was it Alexa yeah the yeah. Alexa one yeah it was cool I mean I got it I got where they're coming from but they just threw so many celebrities at it I kind of yeah. was just it like, was yeah. it was too much it was too much yeah it was too much and I thought the Keanu I love Keanu Reeves um, but I thought the motorcycle thing was a little strange I did too like, it didn't why? seem like he would do that yeah it's Square Space. Yeah, I don't know. That was a little strange. And then um, there was Budweiser. So, yeah. <laughs> Didn't they? What did they? They did a, Yeah, who what? did the water? Oh, no. I oh, yeah, yeah. Talking about the, them giving uh, water to, to like... Yeah, so they, they, like they yeah. shut down their um, beer um, enterprise and when there's relief needed in uh, these countries after devastations and they basically stop construction of beer and... Move over to water and yeah. hand it out to wow. all these relief victims. I, been, I was just reading up on it. They've been doing it for years. I had no idea. Yeah, I thought that was actually that was probably my favorite commercial. Yeah, it was really and cool. I think I think there were quite a few commercials that are going more humanitarian and giving back as opposed to, you know, yeah, com- just being straight capitalistic. Yeah, exactly. right. Trying to get right. your dollar. Exactly. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah. In turn, you're going to think good thoughts and then it, buy their product. Exactly. <laughs> it's still brainwashing. But you know, we don't. We don't give in to big corporate, you know, kind of messages like that. Right. No. Um, we don't believe in it, and you know, we just it's I love just, that it's just I not love something that. that we believe in. But uh, since 1988, they've donated in excess of uh, 76 million cans of clean drinking water. Wow. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah. That's cool. And yeah. therefore, tonight. We're drinking blood. Ooh. We're, get, drinking, we're drinking blood. I love it. All right. Get Honor done. to them. So hey. Cheers to them. Way to go, bud. Um, yeah, I thought, but I thought I thought you were talking about is actually the Ram commercial where they use Martin Luther King's uh, speech in it. Yeah. And it just was kind of off putting because you don't think, you know, the good Dr. Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. would necessarily want his voice to be selling trucks. Right. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Especially Rams. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, probably not. <laughs> and, and you would think that would go you know, like somebody got you know the group got together and was like, "Hey, is everyone here good with that? Yep, good. Okay, that's what we're going with." And I don't know about that. No. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get and it, you know, I, I just don't get it. I'm not going to pretend like I can because I don't. Because you would think they would have you would have a department, and I know they do. They run it by, and they have like test audiences. 
And you would have think there would have been someone. And it didn't even necessarily even have to be, you know, an African-American. No. It could have been anyone. Be like, could have been, that's a good idea. It could have been Christopher Walken. That's what I'm saying. Like, it could have just been anyone. Like, I don't think you should, like, I don't think you should use, use you know, Jesus Christ image to sell, you know, burritos. Oh, paper towel. Or paper towel. Yes. Right. I don't think you should use Gandhi's image to sell. Flip-flops. Flip-flops. <laughs> no. Just it's poor taste. There you go. So, shout out to Budweiser. Yeah, Absolutely. This will be the one and only time that I think we're going to actually be. I haven't had a bud in probably. Drinking domestic? <laughs> I haven't had a bud in probably 10 years, man. You know, I'm missing. I, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I haven't, had, I haven't drink domestic in about 10 years. Wow, yeah. Actually, no, that's not true. American, no. I take yeah, well, uh, cheers. 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 Cheers to bud. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. I'll feed the same. You know what? For mostly rice, it's pretty good. It's it's I, better than Coors. Oh, tenfold, mate. Right? Yeah, Coors Light. I'd rather drink water. Yeah. See, I'll take... You like Miller Light as far as light beers go. Yeah. I, I like Coors Light. An ice cold... No. It's I'm, got nothing. I'm sucked in by the Rocky Mountain snow cold. I need the label to turn blue. It's, it's just, got this sugary aftertaste I don't like at all. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. It's got a sweet, sweet Not taste fan. to it. No fan. I don't like it. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. Here's I want my beer to be beer. a little tough to drink. Yeah. I want a little fight back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is. This so you go is... back for more. For revenge. <laughs> right, right, yeah. right. You don't think I can drink you? <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> you will get that. 9%? <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, um. So that was Super Bowl. The, that, uh, that was Super Bowl. Half time was right. Yeah, I was not impressed with. Uh, I love. I don't know. I think my. He was good. He was good before, but he, he didn't sing as much as he could have. It's gotten too he was big. dancing and, around too much. Yeah, it's gotten way too. I think yeah. it's too much. Yeah. And uh, the, I, the the Prince hologram is cool. That was he, really cool. It's shout out to Prince. That was a great. Yeah. That was a great tribute. Yeah. Tribute. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Even though he was very much against holograms. Was so he? This was yeah. So his estate actually said he he said in interviews. He never want. He actually said this in 1998. Really? He said, "I don't want any holograms of me." When I pass. When I pass, because you know he's very religious. He was he was a devout um, Jehovah Witness. Really? Yeah, him okay. and Mike and, and so on and so forth. He felt that it was it was. I don't want to go too deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of sacrilege. Sacrilege. Yeah. Great word for, to describe. Yeah. yeah sacrilege to yeah, do okay. that. Okay. And so to 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 honor that, they apparently found a middle ground and did a projection screen. But I was trolling my friends on Facebook, and I said, I don't think Prince would still appreciate that. No. Because it's still a recreation of, yeah, of a performance of, of him. him. Passed, right? right. And the other argument that Prince was trying to make was, basically, when I die, that's the end of the Prince show. I don't want my yeah. image performing right. Right. anymore. If right. you want to see Prince, you had to have lived between the time right. and going to a show. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, you know, I think JT, you know, listen, for the honor of the fans and for the city of Minnesota, I think it was nice. Yeah. But I think Prince is looking down like, mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should have asked me first. Right. Yeah. Right. I thought I told you. Just, you, just, yeah, come on. you just Super Bowl me. Right. Yeah. You know, it's a little, it's a little, I get it. It's a little tchotchke. It's a little, yeah. you know, I think somebody like, we were talking about it at, at the game, like somebody like Chris Stapleton, you know, mm -hmm. some like a like an like a deep artist yeah. that you don't have to change the song every three seconds. Bring him out with him, right? And you know, just do a good performance. Yeah. You know, and but uh, that's a, that's the world we live in. There you go. Spectacle. Spectacle. So what do you got? That's uh, new, new and good. What's I, happened I, over the last couple of weeks? I did watch oh, a yeah. disturbing um, news report. Of a woman, this is hysterical. She she went to the airport to board a flight with uh, United Airlines with an emotional support animal of a peacock. Okay. She was kicked right out of there, and there was huge upheave after that. Are you uh, upheave by who? By by the woman who needed the peacock so she can get through the flight, apparently. So uh, she fought with them for six hours and didn't win. And apparently the uh, the dynamics of the bird did not reach the needs of the chair that it needed. <laughs> you, you keep, Actually, it's interesting. We, we flew to Tampa at you Christmas. Cannot make there were so many up. animals on this freaking flight. There must have been like 20 dogs on this small-ass flight to Tampa. Everyone's just 
emotional support animals. And I get it. I get it. And I think yeah. I think there's real emotional support needs. Um, and some, some that just jumpers don't. on the bandwagon. Right. And there's also listen. There's people that are so c- connected to their dogs. We will never take our dog right. to a. Uh, uh, to a kennel, right? Like when we we're the away. same. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you're the same. Yeah. Like our dog is our daughter. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's our child, but um, yeah, I'm not going to bring her on a plane and, no. and claim emotional support. Is she emotionally supportive to me? Yes. But and yeah. vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of the emotional uh, support dogs are actually for the dog. <laughs> they yeah. can't handle being separated by, from their right. owners. Right. Right. And we have a we have a friend. Yeah. Who, yeah. who Take takes um takes star and absolutely uh, yeah. must must yeah. go and yeah. uh, if you know the story about this particular dog yeah. you're like that's cool yeah yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> that's awesome but a peacock but a peacock yeah yeah that, that oh, you can see her on the screen there she uh she is literally going through the airport with a peacock on her head that's I have to say that's a pretty well trained peacock that really is isn't it I, I didn't know peacocks would even go on no, another human shoulder like a freaking yeah. parrot yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, that's more of being like a sociopath or something, like just yeah. uh, like, a, <laughs> like 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 a cat. What are you trying like a cat lady. to do? What? Yeah. yeah. And really why trying. would you think? How would that not interfere with other passengers? Yeah. Right. Not like so how sure. logistically? I, <laughs> yeah. I get. All right. Let's say this is legit support, right. emotional support animal. Right. I get it. But still, you got to think this all the way. Through. Right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my North American bird app as we go through this. <laughs> okay. Um, and if you've ever heard a peacock. It is one of the most, uh, especially if it, like, could you imagine on a plane? No. Um, when you hear this, uh, it is the, the unbelievable. Um, all right, I'm bringing it up. Um, it probably won't even allow me to. Nothing. No? <laughs> no. I'm going to see if I can find it. Yeah, the, the call of the peacock is, is unbelievable. Um, followed by the, um, what is it? The greater prairie chicken. What if it gets horny and he freaking fans his feathers out? You fucked. Yeah. There goes your TV what if show. The, what if they're serving chicken? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if they're serving right. peacock? All right. Don't know. So that was a bizarre uh, story I stumbled over. Okay. Um, we had a busy weekend with the Super Bowl and we always went yeah. to an event called the Beef Steak Fest. Feast. Beef Steak. And uh, we'll get into that in a little yeah. bit because that was entertaining. That, that was a hell of an experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got anything else going on? No, that's bad, mate. Yeah. Uh, it's been a quiet couple of weeks. You've been doing a bunch of stuff with traveling? I tr- I've been traveling. Um, I was in Buffalo. I went to the Buffalo Whiskey Fest. Uh, it was phenomenal. It was our first annual. I stayed in a hotel. Uh, it's called the Curtis Hotel in Buffalo, New York. Uh, if you're ever in Buffalo, Buffalo is turning into this, I mean, it's this renaissance um, that's happening in the city. It's a mm-hmm. phenomenal city. Um, just food and um, young and healthy and happy and not what you think of Buffalo. Yeah, because last time I checked, Buffalo had a yeah. they had a drug problem. Yeah, there is still. I mean, there's areas on I guess the east and west side mm-hmm. that I've that are that looks looks like a third world country. Really? Um, there's gorgeous cathedrals that are boarded up, right. um, but it's shrinking. Right. And the cool thing is you're getting young professionals. I met a bartender who she actually moved to one of these poorer areas so that she could Help be part out. of the renaissance. Yeah. And I, that's really cool. The only um, time I went to Buffalo was when I first moved there. I did a road trip from New York to Buffalo just for the Buffalo Wings at the Anchor Inn. Yeah. And they didn't serve it with blue cheese. They served it with ranch. Very disappointed. Yeah. Wow. Um, yep. That's that's a problem. Yeah. That's a problem. Best wings I've had are uh, down the hatch in the village. Yep. Yep, yep. Superbly. And those, yeah. Yep. And it comes with plenty of carrots and celery. Don't. Okay. I, over the years, it's gotten less and less with carrots and celery. Yeah. It's just wings. Yep. But I did, I sadly, I did not have wings okay. in Buffalo. That's okay. I had two interesting experiences that happened to me um, in Buffalo. I went, stayed at the Curtis Hotel. They have taken technology to the next level in, in staying in hotels. Everything that. Um, Basically, everything that your room needs is on basically an iPad kind of thing that's attached. That's cool. Um, light switches. Light switches, air, you know, TV. environment, TV, uh, food, ordering, this, that, everything, that, everything that you can need. Yeah. Um, the more interesting thing, and this was a little weird, because the first time I stayed there at the Curtis, they, the, the person that was checking me in, actually had to walk me up to my room, walk into my room, and show me how to use the toilet. Now, I get it. 
There are times where I'm <laughs> drop them and a sit. little special, but I'm pretty good at. <laughs> Did it have the three seashells? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, it was weird that she was in my room and showing me how to use a toilet. Well, this toilet has an added-on toilet seat, and it's all computerized and heated and has like fans and it has a bidet. Does it wipe for you too? Well, it, it doesn't need to. It, it, doesn't, doesn't, it does not okay. need to. All right. So the the bidet like comes out of this like thing, and it's like a jet, right? And you put man or woman because you know an, oh, the an, an angle of attack. The, <laughs> You could get two for the, the price. Of, you could get two, ding, for, ding, ding, two yes. for the price of one. <laughs> Angle of attack. <laughs> what if I want to, yeah. to feel like a hit both buttons, mate? What if I want it like yeah. halfway in between? Yeah. <laughs> like, don't label me. <laughs> That's right. Just a scotch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a setting? A scotch, scotch on the gooch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, yeah, so good. I'm like, oh. so the first time I was terrified. I didn't. I, I didn't, it's just like, can I just do my thing and not have and all flush. these? Oh, it's weird, and it like it's it's weird. It, it senses. It has all sorts of motion detectors. It's very strange, and I'm like, you're you're overcomplicating things. You had to try it. So this time, I'm like, you know what? Okay. For the show, there's no video, is there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. It had the angle. All wrong. <laughs> it looked like a geyser, um, and I'm I'm like, all right, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the day. A lot of people in Europe use bidets or whatever, and this this, wa this wand came 60s. out, and it was a pleasant, warm water. But what kind of force did it hit you with? No, it was oh. a good force. It was a good force. It wasn't. It, it wasn't, wasn't enema. No, <laughs> no. It wasn't a misting. No, no. It was <laughs> obviously, spritz. obviously, there, there's been a lot of trial and error with this. Yeah, nice shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> hopefully. Oh, there you go. But I, I, you know, after it, I'm like, uh, no. I'm gonna take a shower. I'm good. Right. Uh, you know, no. A little too intrusive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. So that was, that was my first interesting experience. But seriously, if you do go to the, uh, go to Buffalo, stay at the Curtis. Um, there's also an old insane asylum that was turned mm. into a hotel. Oh wow. Cool. Um, and it is terrifying and beautiful, but terrifying at the same time. And we're gonna talk a little bit about ghost travel at the end of the show, if not on the next show. Yeah. Nice. Um, there's some weird stuff trending with that that you can do. Um, the weird thing was, and this is my last new and good. All right. I went out to a bar. Uh, on the menu, white tuna. We've all had white tuna, right? White tuna. And uh, she's like, you know, do you, do you know what you want? I said, yeah, I'll have the I'll have the white tuna. It was that white tuna belly. And I'm like, great, awesome. She's like, in the can, right? Excuse me? <laughs> so I thought she was joking. And I'm like, yeah, yeah the, you know, can, right? Canned tuna, exactly, right? Right. She comes out with a plate, piece of parsley, lemon wedge, and Ortiz canned tuna. white tuna belly no. in olive oil. And I'm, I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? Um, phenomenal. I was so shocked, How and, good we, it was. and we will we'll post it. Yeah. It was absolutely phenomenal. Came with crackers. I thought it was a big joke. It wasn't. Um, so wait, they brought it and presented presented it to you. Yeah, the can, um, there's, I, a, there's, there's a, a there's a photo there. that I sent. Um, oh, okay. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I did you'll get it. Yeah, I did get it. Hang on. Um, it, it was so unexpectedly awesome. Yeah, and I, I it retails around eleven bucks. So for a can of tuna, that's an expensive can of tuna. Hell yeah, um, definitely worth doing it. It was phenomenal. Like I, I want to take that camping. Yeah, yeah. Um, Where can you get it? Uh, you can get it on Amazon. You can. It's a little hard to find the can that they got. It's, right. There's different types, so I'm still trying to figure out yeah, which yeah, yeah. one. Um, cool. But I think you would even like they, it. Uh, yeah, I like your tuna. Fan. I like. Yeah, yeah. I, I love tuna. tuna. Yeah, me too. This yeah. was. Oh, there you go. You know what I love? I love canned oysters. Don't oh, know yeah? why I love candy. Never tried them. With some laughing cow cheese and some crackers. The game on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'd yeah, be yeah, up for that. The yeah. smoking, the smoked oysters? Smoked or just... oysters out yeah. of the can. It's something my, my mom turned me on as a kid. And it's That's so something cool. about that taste. I love laughing cow, too. I fucking love that stuff. Yeah, there's, there's, <laughs> some, there's some stuff in cans that are actually pretty yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. I, spam not being one of them, but no. Oh, canned corned beef. Really? Yeah, you've you've done that camping a couple times. Oh, I love it, mate. The sodium levels are a little high, <laughs> and the canned ham with the jelly around the outside. Oh, so fucking good. 
really? Yeah. Yeah, no. Separation. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Here, here's, there a to- here's a toilet also. Oh, yeah, you'll see this. <laughs> High tech. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> I should have. Well, I, I, I was going to try. It, it wouldn't pressure. Like, I was going to try and open the lid mm-hmm. and press it, but I knew it was going to spray me in the face. Right. <laughs> so. I, I, I did, uh, yeah, I didn't really So the, this was the remote control for the entire room here? That's the entire room. Okay. Um, if you look in on it, I mean, it, everything's covered. Yeah. Um, and I, it just seems to be where this, this hotel wants to go. Is, I like it. As far as technology That's goes. That's cool. And it, it's, it's really quite cool. Yeah. Um, I don't like being shown how to use a toilet. No. But that's just me, yeah. you know? You're a grown-ass man. So <laughs> <laughs> there we go, there. Yeah. Um, right, we've got a few things to okay. move Co- on with. A couple of things. Beef steak. Mm. Yeah, so the, the, the couple of cancellations. Remember the cancellation? Uh, oh, the sledding that we were going to do? Yeah. Cancelled. Cancelled. And then what else did we see? We saw um, uh, last weekend that got tapped. Trees. Oh. Yeah, it's starting to um, maple syrup, right? Yeah, yeah. And we'll do. We're gonna we're gonna do a big yeah. thing on maple sugaring at some point. But yeah. We saw trees. We, we saw trees. We tapped. We posted it. Yep. So spring is on its way, even though we're getting a big storm tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. And the groundhog saw a shadow. Like didn't. Yeah. Shadow. Yeah. And apparently, <clears throat> Facebook, what a load of bullshit that is. Right? Totally. Yeah. 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 yeah did you see all the Facebook ads the, getting... where the lions eating the groundhog and like. <laughs> like, relax, people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it, you know it it's ends in shadow. six weeks. Uh, it ends in six weeks, or or it be, or spring begins in six weeks. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. same same difference. Yeah. So maple sugaring's happening, um, and we'll do a much bigger report on it in the next few uh, couple podcasts. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Beef steak, yeah, baby. All right. So we were beef steak this Saturday at the uh, Poughkeepsie CIA. Uh, about half hour north of us, mm-hmm. and um, the beefsteak event goes back. I was researching this today. That's yeah, pretty cool. It goes back to the 1800s. Yep. Uh, it was a big thing in New York City, um, just for men. Yep. Uh, women weren't allowed to be there, and uh, these big groups of men just lined up in these huge halls. Um, Typically working class men. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, they were served big and an assortment of lumps of meat. Yep. With uh, simple side dishes and stuff, they sang, they drunk, and they partied. Yeah. Uh, so we were invited to um, to the modern version of this, where women are allowed to be, and there are, there is silverware <laughs> and um, copious amounts of alcohol. Yeah, yeah. It's um, and food and food. Yeah, it's a really it's it's a little hard to explain unless you attend. And it's the type of thing that we're both in agreement that, like, you have to go to to it once. Yeah. Um, because it's it's like trying to explain to somebody what chocolate tastes like yeah. if they've never had chocolate. Right. Um, we can give you a, a basic idea of what a beef steak is. So it's it, – it, anybody can do a beef steak. Yeah. Um, and there's a, quite a few beef steaks, you know, depending upon where you live. Just, right. You know, just and online the there's a how to organize a beef steak party. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll post that. Um how to do a beef steak of your own. Um, the things that it does have is meat, beer, meat, beer. Bourbon. Oh, bourbon. As, as, and, as long as there's not one of those fancy toilets yeah. that I have to use after. No, 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 no fancy. No, no <laughs> fancy <laughs> you, you might need one. Yeah. And, uh, and that it, we did have the one thing that we hate. We, it wasn't that bad this year. Well, I was thinking about that earlier. So it was the uh, lamb kidneys. I think we talked about that before, and it was like oh. one of the foulest things ever. Oh. But then I think we were expecting it to be really foul this year. It's, it's a bit like the anticipation of death is yeah. worse than death itself. Yeah. We were anticipating these to be as bad as we remembered last year, which yeah. we probably sort of upped the game on a little bit. Yeah. And we, we beat into them, and not bad. I was nervous. And then 10 minutes later, you're like, what the fuck did I just do? It is the worst thing I have ever eaten in my entire life. Uh, it's the worst thing. This year, it wasn't as bad. It was a little more like liver. Um, oh, but it's still just... It's so minimally. In you're, eating, you're, eating a, you're eating a filter. Yeah. You know? And you actually feel like you know, like you feel yeah, what yeah. you're eating. I you can, you can, you can, and you can, you can literally taste the yeah. smell of <laughs> urine. Yeah. So it's it's really just an unpleasant thing, but yeah. um, uh, by far the uh, lamb chops were some of the best lamb chops yeah, I have ever eaten. Yeah. So it, it, it and obviously it's the Culinary Institute of America. Yeah. 
Um, all the, yeah, all the students there are uh, they're working the event, so they prepare yeah. all your meals. The, all the uh, yeah, and that's pretty cool too because yeah. you have all these kids serving you that you know they're there for school. They're there. They're all aspiring. You know, either chefs or some kind of you know in the food industry. Yeah. And it's Does like, a great count on you enjoying their food? Does what? You, their grade reflect on how much oh, you I don't enjoy know. Food. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Like know. if you got sick on some of that kidney, yeah, <laughs> do they fail? You know, no, 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 you blame the alcohol. Right. Yeah, <laughs> some right. angry right. French chef. <laughs> <laughs> you had the CIA. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right. get out. That's right. So yeah, it, it it's an awesome experience, yeah. and uh, Rich put together. Yeah. I made a little video, so uh, if you want to play that, it just Absolutely. shows. I love the classical music. Oh, it's great. The harpsichord. <laughs> love it. Chef Rich. Oh, no, that's Matt. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Yep, a little nervous there, Rich. There are the kitchens where they prepped everything. And where is this again? Literally at the Culinary Institute of America. In Poughkeepsie. In Poughkeepsie. And you walk through this hallway... You see the prep kitchens here. It's really, it's, it's an awesome experience to see these chefs go. Oh, this is a good time. It looks it's like awesome. It looks wow. like looks like gringo, gringo, gringots or the. Oh, I love oh. this. Almost like a burlesque show. Yeah, 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 very, yeah. very twenties. Yeah. They've got flappers. These are all students. What was oh, that? Wow. Oh, there was a yeah. That was the burger. Anytime you bring out my food with music in the background, I'm happy. Yeah. There you go. You yeah. Know? So. It's and they do this big whole thing Summer where they movie. bring in the main Yeah, there you go. You know, the main beef and it was uh yeah. it's a lot of it's a lot of showmanship, a lot of singing. Yeah. It's um it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's cool. Do it's it cool. do it once. Yeah. Uh, right. and again if you don't want to do it, do it yourself. We'll post something. Um, there's a great I article. Think it's like 180 ahead. Yeah. Again, it's worth doing it once. Yeah. How, yeah. Long, how long is the event? Uh, six through, I want to say 10, 10:30. Yeah. So, and, uh, yeah. yeah. And, but your your beer glass is not empty. So that's mm. part of that's part of the show yeah. is that they have servers that are eyeing your glasses like hawks snipers so in the it's, yeah. It, yeah there is no asking that's part of the beefsteak is that you don't empty the glass and in in doing so yeah. the beer is actually brewed at the culinary institute right. in, wow. at their brewery yeah. which i think is very cool and yeah. they actually brew a beer that works with a very heavy meal like that right so you can drink a lot of it it's a lower so AB. it's a lighter yeah, it's a, they, I think they did a Pilsner. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. You know, 3% by volume kind of thing, so you can drink a lot of it. And, you know, I mean, could you imagine if you're doing like a like a hazy farm style 9%? Right. No, right. some uh, flower power. Juice bomb or something, yeah, right? Uh, yeah. Beat, beat it. So, it, it, yeah, it was a great experience. Um, and uh, Pop the toast. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. right. All right. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> Are you nervous? Am I nervous? No, I don't get uh, nervous. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So moving on. Long, as long as there's no kidney involved. Yeah. Well. No. Uh, yeah. No, not really. All right. No. All right. No. All you, right. You'll be good. Okay. You'll be okay. good. All right. The fake restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. We, we looked into this a little further, and uh, some fella, he was number one um, Yelp. Yelp TripAdvisor. Trip. Sorry. Sorry, Yelp TripAdvisor restaurant in London, and uh, and if you go on to TripAdvisor, they've since taken and taken they've taken him down. Right, but this is the, the restaurant number. was called the Shed in Dulwich, in London. Yep, and what he did, he started off. He was um, he was a reviewer for Yelp for other restaurants and they used to pay him money to ten, 10 bucks a review 10 bucks a wow. review and i would rack up on that hell yeah so, yeah but what does that tell you about TripAdvisor and yelp and that is bullshit it's all bullshit yeah so he was getting paid all this money to write these reviews so that yelp ratings would go up and in one smart afternoon or not so smart afternoon he decided that he should pretend that he has a restaurant and yelp himself yeah <laughs> 
And he did, and he, over time he... Uh, All he had to do for, for the for TripAdvisor was buy a phone. He bought a track phone, right. yeah. you know, a, a burner. That's Right, yeah, phone. like a throwaway phone. A throwaway mm-hmm. phone, yeah. and that was all he needed. No contract? And the, f- oh, so this was posted on Vice. Mm-hmm. They posted the food. The, the pictures. Oh, my the God. The pictures Wait. of the food. That, the pictures <laughs> of the food. Now you... And then he, and then he showed... What he actually used to, um, instead of food, right? Like he would use shaving cream shaving as mashed cream. potato right. and take a picture of it. Or his yeah. foot as ham. His That's foot right. as yeah. ham. <laughs> yeah. His, uh, engine oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for molasses or something. Uh, a urinal cake for something. That's, right. That, right. For scallop. Oh yeah, for That's scallop right. it was a bleach bleach cake or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like just unbelievable. Yeah. And somehow turned it. In, in number one, he was getting hundreds, thousands of bookings on a day, and all he was doing was saying, "Nope, fully booked, fully booked. So, sorry, fully booked, yeah. fully booked." That was yeah. the best. That, yeah. that was, was great. The best. How he just turned everyone down, yep. and that just he skyrocketed. But he got to a head. point where he actually turned his shed into a restaurant right. for for a selected few people, and what he had to do, he had to meet them down the road from his place, blindfold them, walk them to the freaking shed. <laughs> And um, him and his buddies, like, they, w- I, they went to, like, the Kmart and bought these, like, dried foods and shit. They bought $35 <laughs> worth of food to feed, to feed a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had to get in real guests. Right. And chickens. And chickens. One of the guests got attacked by a chicken. I-, I love how they had the DJ, but all he did was play restaurant ambiance yes. music. <laughs> and, like, plates clankering in the background and That's chefs, right. yes, chef! <laughs> yeah. It was Smart. unbelievable. And finally... Yeah. Um, you know, how did he finally get get caught? He got busted. I think he um, they were having like reviewers come in or whatever. Right. And um, yeah, and he's, he gave up his game. Yeah, it so, was. Uh, but uh, even TripAdvisor, they they were you know they said oh it, it it doesn't discredit you know actual restaurants on here or reviews of restaurants. We still are you know because they had to protect right. themselves because basically they got hijacked. Right. You know, and their brand got hijacked. It's and it's very bad PR. Extremely bad yeah. PR. Because how do I know that restaurant that's on number one on TripAdvisor is actually number one? Right. Yeah. Right. You know. You know there has to be a way to make that more. Um, or less, sorry, less hackable kind of thing, or less yeah. screwed with, because um, it's really difficult to. Yeah. I mean, I've been to dozens of restaurants with bad ratings mm-hmm. that were decent. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the know? power of Yelp to actually, yeah, to actually discredit a good restaurant right. because you felt you weren't served properly. Right. right. However, that may be. So you're going to discredit that whole restaurant mm-hmm. because of your one bad experience, and but that's what we do. Right. And and. That's bullshit. Yeah. It is. Complete um, bullshit. Yeah. Um, uh, there's restaurants that have thought about closing down because of bad Yelp reviews, mm. yeah. and that's a shame. Mm. Yeah, actually, one of the restaurants near there's us. There's been yeah. restaurants uh, in Westchester yeah. that have, yeah. you know, we were asked by, we won't let you know who the restaurant is, we were asked by a restaurant to uh, to write a good review, which we're happy to do, yeah. because it was a true review, because somebody did this horrific Review. I think right. it was so you were there to counter. I think it was an that ex-husband. Was yeah, like, that was right. just not true. Right. You know, wow. and um, and it hurt her business. Yeah. So yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. But fake restaurant. Well done. I would love to see what he does next. Totally. Yeah, well played, right? Yeah, well yeah. played. Great. great show. That would be a great show. Yeah, yeah totally. Like start taking stuff and start building. You know, take a product, build it, and have it be totally fake and see how far you can get. Yeah. Yeah. That would be an interesting show. People will go for it. They will. Yeah. All right. Chefs for Hire. Chefs for this Hire. This is one for Gypsy. I love this. Okay. Have you heard about it? No. No, not, in, not until uh, Matt sent me the link. Yeah, Chefs for Hire. A friend of mine um, went to a dinner on Friday night. I'll, I'll try and make this a little quick. Um, the company is called Chefs for Hire. H i g h e r, mm-hmm. um, and it's Hawaii. It's Hawaii Mike. That's his name. Hawaii yeah. Mike and okay. his wife. And his wife. Mm-hmm. Um, they share a love of food, um, a love of love. So there's kind of this overtone at, at these at these meals. And the mahawana. And the mahawana. <laughs> I 
I love when you say that. And they put it all together. And they in, don't they don't have a restaurant. They go to private functions correct. and they cater. Correct. For four hundred bucks a person. Right. And um, yeah, it's three hundred about three hundred and twenty dollars a plate. Mm. Uh, there's some big A-list actors that have employed these two. I would two. imagine, yeah. yeah. If you go onto their Instagram account, Chefs for Hire, yeah, their, their food, website. some of their food shots are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. They are obviously very experienced. They also, my friend, um, doesn't really smoke a whole lot of pot, Doesn't just doesn't do that. Mm. Myself, I'm, I don't do that either. Um, I know you <laughs> I didn't say nothing. Um, but um, silence is gold. But they took. They start with uh, cocktails, infused cocktails, yep. appetizers. Yeah. Um, then they, they then they have a smoke break. They have a smoke smoke. Do break. they really? Yep. Yeah. They go in the basement and there's a there's a she breaks out. Yeah. Yeah. A, a suitcase of paraphernalia and options. Right. To buy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like a sex party. Yeah. And then I they then they go up for the meal. It's yeah. this big long meal. Um, it was like uh, marijuana infused linguine and stuff. Just and phenomenal. They use they use oils and hashes yeah. and all sorts of different yeah. things. But they 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 do it in such a way. I asked her. I said, "Listen, uh, did you get you know were you incredibly high after right. this?" And she was high, but it was it was all good and happy. Yeah. You so know, it gives you that warm glowy feeling inside. right yeah it's not it's not so much a head right. cerebral kind of right. high where you think you're in outer space you just feel like warm cozy and in a blanket sitting yeah. in front of a fire i, I like yeah. i i you'd be into doing something like that 100 percent, 100 percent. i'd you, join you would you yeah. do it totally i'm still nervous why well, I yeah don't know. i mean i if you're with someone who doesn't know what they're doing as far as cooking as far as measurements right. it could go one of either way either yeah. you don't you don't feel anything yeah. or you get way too high yeah. and then yeah. you it it's, could it could get turned yeah, yeah. it's going to be like that dream sequence at, at the big lebowski for me yes yeah. right 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 yeah. exactly. it could be, it could be that but yeah. i mean when it comes to people like this that that you know have yeah. very high accounts and dealing with high end people that they can't poison them <laughs> yeah. you know, otherwise they lose their and company. and that's where i think this chefs for hire is uh -huh. um yeah, and they'll, cool they'll probably thing. educate you as you go with it. Can right. You know, like, you... I hear that. I hear that sound. <laughs> it's, it's sounds like butter. That's breakfast right there. This, this you got some eggs over there? Do we have a, <laughs> this leads us a hot in, plate? This leads us into our next topic. Okay. What do we got? Um, yeah, but we'll, we'll post for what? For Chefs for Hire, um, a link. Yeah. Um, they said they were so professional and just great guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if it's something you're interested in, great. Um, so this is actually this is like revisiting a good British food. Yes, so I think you smelled it last time or the first show that we had, and I shared my passion for marmite, which is I think we brought in three different types of marmite. It's a yeast extract. Yes, that we use as a. It's not a preserve because you're not really preserving anything. Right. Um, it's it's a condiment. So imagine if yeast. Was a slug, right? <laughs> oh, you guys are getting me good on this. So one. imagine okay. if yeast was a slug, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So imagine the slime trail oh. is what you're eating. <laughs> okay. Yummy. That's marmite. Marmite is the is the ooze is the kind of signature ooze leftover yeah. byproduct of yeast having lots of uh, yeast. Sex. Sex. Yeah. Um, eating. So just so, everything. All right. I was going to take right. another deep left turn, but I'll let, I'll let it go. So I'm addicted to this stuff. I, Are you? I grew up on this stuff. I have this every day for breakfast on my bread. You saw this. I do. I remember this. Yes. And we bought three. Did I like it? We bought. You didn't try it. That's why I, I brought it back. I didn't like it. You didn't oh, try it. Oh, it's more the horrible smell? So Rich got me. I thought it was the most disgusting thing I've ever smelled. And guess what? You gotta have it on toast. Now, I love it. Now you love it. Why? But why? <laughs> I don't believe you. It, I, it just, it, it's so tasty. All right, bring it, it grows on you. But bring we, it. we gotta bring in the story first. Oh, okay. no, after. No, we gotta do it before. Don't you think? <laughs> it's more tempting. Okay. All okay. right, we'll do it now. So put a little. I'm gonna put a, a scotch on. Sco uh, tell him about. Scotch. Rich, tell them about the whole butter in the Marmite and how old these can get. Yeah, they can go on for ages. My grandmother had one probably 50 years, and we used to visit once a year. The older we got, the better we got. 
And then about eight so the butter that she would use oh, like, 50 years ago, crumbs there. of it would oh, still yeah. be in there. Oh, it's so but wait, how do you guys still have the same jar for 50 years? Oh, we we didn't visit that often. No, it was a big, yeah, you're big jar. That, that like, oh, one, one, of the, one of those it's jars just, that lasts me. Like, yeah, 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 small amount. Yeah, small amount. She would have the the economy yeah. side yeah. match. Yeah, jar. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. then about seven years ago, they came out with an actual aged marmite because people were enjoying like the older crap, which is like now like tar, you know. Yeah, it's like um, it's, it's like a fine aged yeah. wine, yeah. you know. If it's a, and if you can put a gimmick on it, you can get it with gold specks in it. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and this is a like we'll, we'll have this just for breakfast. You know, it's just butter. My wife w- won't eat it unless it's on roast potatoes. So that is your recipe, and that is one of the best. Actually, my buddy Steve. Damn, Brown. no, it's yours. Take it. <laughs> so you own it. So Steve, that's gonna that's gonna end up messing up my whole yeah. mojo. Um, Marmite potatoes yeah, is one of the good. finest things I've. Yep. Yeah. Listen you make it sound good, but oh, I'm, I'm so still on the good. fence now. But you right. let, you're gonna let us know me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my uh, my headphones off. All right. Oh, we're we're gonna do a little piece of this. All right. I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm I'm very curious. I've made yeah, a mess. Because I, I like to be surprised. I like to think, oh, something's gonna taste really disgusting and then be pleasantly surprised. You may well be. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I, I think you're going to have that. I have, I have my buff bag. Budweiser. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank God for Budweiser. I gave you a scotch. A scotch. A scotch. Okay. 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 <laughs> it was, a cameraman's turning his nose up. You, oh, I take a couple of small ones. Oh. Like one. Yeah. All right. Oh. I don't know. Let's no? See. It's, it's right on the line. You either love it or you hate it. Oh, what do you think? I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> the butter is covering up. It's giving, it's salvaging it, to be honest. The, the butter is salvaging it. No, I can't. I could do sheets and sheets of this shit. Oh, I can't. Okay. So, should we bring in the story of why we it. brought this back? And you found this sure. story. Human Marmite. Human Marmite? Human Marmite. The same company that brought the piss beer? Scientists have found a way to make a vitamin-packed marmite form, sorry, from human waste. Oh! Could could work for long space missions. (laughs) I knew you'd eat it. What about the losing engineer? Oh, God. Would you like another piece? No. So? Yes. Have another beer? Yes. Would you like another beer? Yes. So, uh, this was reported by the BBC. Okay. Uh, this is something scientists are working on. It actually makes sense because, you know, when you're going to Mars and coming back, these long missions, you've got to bring everything with you. Of course. And that includes food and water. Now on the space station, we are able, not we, but scientists are able to recycle water waste. Right. Okay. Right? Um, the thought is if you somehow break down human waste using yeast, bacteria, things like that, um, that if they produce a Marmite-type substance... Um, From that shit. Right? You're going to break down the the waste, but then you're going to produce a very, very vitamin-rich um, product that would be edible. Would it be called <laughs> shite, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> now, for the life of me, I cannot figure out how you are not going to get shit in the mark. Like, how you got to sell this, right? You got to sell. You got to use Tena- that toilet that you, you that you, there you used go. to sell it to Nessa. But you got to sell it to the people. Like, listen, you had me at Mars. I'm going. I'm, I'd be on the first ship going there. Would you? But you have to eat human waste marmite. You know what? I'm going to go back to the Curtis Hotel. Yeah. Yeah. I'd you rather know, get Would you do dad. that? You would try it. You're like Mikey. You try anything. I'd try anything. You yeah. would try it. You got to try it once, yeah. F- really? FDA approved and all that. Yeah, game on. FDA. Do you that's know like, who works at the FDA? <laughs> that's like a big... Wow, that's a lot of trust in... Yeah, I don't... I, uh, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, Rich is saying over here, um, but regular Marmite, 
I love. You sure you don't want another piece? No, I can't even finish the piece you gave me. And I'm telling you, the butter was a saving grace. You almost, I almost could fight through it mm. and believe that maybe the, some of the deliciousness was, was the Marmite. But then I, my taste Showed buds it. were easily able to separate butter from Marmite. And it, it, it tastes like shite. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Sh- shite might. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I, there, I is, there is hope. I had the same when I first tried it, and now I absolutely love it. So, love it. Yeah, yeah. What so that's – what else we got? Um, you found some fun ghost hunts? Yes. So uh, we're running out of time, so I'll, I'll, we'll try and get through this. We found um, – we found a where is it? It's called Ghost Hunts USA. Yeah, where is it? Um, yeah, it's Ghost Hunts USA. So this is now a travel company. So it's basically the same people that brought brought you Ghost Hunters, but they're going into these haunted locations, and you get to join as a guest. Wow! So you spend the night um, as a guest at like an Airbnb. Yeah, they do dinner and stuff and they do the ghost tours and all that. And then you can do your own self tour at 2 AM in the morning. Yeah. But didn't some guy wake up like slashed up over the face and shit we were yep. reading? Yep. Yeah. So know. there's been some really, so they bring, they're stirring the bees nest, so to speak. Yeah. So it's like they're going into these notoriously haunted places and charging you for it, charging you for it, which is fine. I like, we may do it. We were talking about it. Yeah. You're not scared of stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm like Keanu Reeves in in that movie where he's like, you don't believe in the devil because oh, he, devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't know what was it. He believes in you, kind of thing. Like, I'm terrified of that. Oh, okay. Story. But I'm fascinated by it. You would do it? Uh, I think we have with to the do. option of leaving. <laughs> no, there is no option. <laughs> with no my car patch. parked outside, You're right, running. with the engine rolling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I yeah, I might. I would be terrified, yeah. and but they bring in mediums and psychics. And Maybe there's different le- venues, levels, with different of t- levels of intensity, and uh, yeah, bad people. So we'll we'll post the one that's at Lizzie Borden's. So Wait, Liz- Lizzie Borden's New house York up in it? Massachusetts. Oh, okay. It's up in Fall River, Mass. They're doing a night there. You can sign up. It's 199 bucks. Um, they will be stirring the pot on this. Uh, Lizzie Borden, I guess the story she bludgeoned her father. I mean, it was just horrific, demonic kind of stuff. Um, so let's go and stay the night and try and stir up some ghosts. There you go. Yeah. You bring a Ouija board. Oh, God. I won't touch a Ouija board. Yeah, that's one thing. I, yeah, No, don't touch. No. But that's something we're going to check into. Yep. Um, we might stay later on in, like, March or April. Um, we will have... We will broadcast with a Facebook Live from mm-hmm. that if we do that. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it should be pretty interesting. Um, what else we got? I think that's about it for this week, mate. Yeah, there's a couple of events. Oh, what was the other Science event? Science Straight Up Happy Hour? Yep. So that's happening. Um, where's that happening? That's happening in Hartford on Friday the 9th. This yep. Friday. Yeah, this Friday. Tickets are 12 bucks. Basically, it's an uh, alcoholic science project. Yeah. So right. you're, going to the, you're going to Hartford Science Center? And they're doing happy hour there. Love and it. they theme it around love. And you can see what happens to the brain when you're in love and then drink. Oh, God. Um, and then they said if you're not into love stuff, you can actually touch a human brain. Hmm. Okay. That's, that's a, a little, nice option. That's a little weird. Yeah. I'd rather eat Marmite. Um, <laughs> but it does kind of seem like a cool event if you're looking to get out of that typical happy hour kind of yeah, stuff yeah. and do something different. There you go. Cool. So we might head up. We'll see, we'll see what happens. See how we go. Yeah. That is it. That's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Check Thank us out. You. Facebook, Instagram. Yep. Uh, oh, Apple. iTunes. iTunes. We are number eight, I think, number 13 Whoa. on iTunes uh, top ten list or something. Yep, for uh, TV and F- film and TV and film, which is unbelievable. Yeah. So um, I guess we're, we're doing something right. Yeah. Um, but if you haven't, please go on to iTunes. We will post a link. And, and write a review. Write a review. All right. Thank you. Cheers, guys. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Peace out. Bye. This is Rogues on the Road with Matt Froman and Rich Marshall, where we talk food, travel, craft beverages, and everything in between.